I am Julian Boatner, assistant coach, William and Mary basketball. I think it all started when my senior year, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I was coming, when I was about, I was getting ready to graduate towards the end of the basketball season. Um, and I started watching how Coach Holmes and Coach Kimball and um, Coach Shaver were, were putting together the film for us to watch. I was at, I think it was at the, the Richmond Airport or something. Um, and I just kind of got an, a little itch for it when I was doing that. Um, and then towards the end of the season, um, going into graduation, um, I, I asked Holmes and, and Coach Kim, I was like, I, what would I have to do to be an assistant, to be a, a coach in college basketball? And they were like, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> um, obviously, I didn't listen to them. I kept pressing on. And then from then on, I, I, I applied to be a graduate assistant at Indiana University. Um, was fortunate enough to be accepted there and to be a part of that and I've been coaching since, ever since and that's kind of how I came up. Some of my mentors um, coming up through this the coaching ranks would definitely have to start with Coach Crean at Indiana, oh, he was at Indiana University now at University of Georgia. Um, I was a GA for him for two years um, and he gave me an opportunity to be a part of their team and we had great success at Indiana. Um, I learned a ton from him and he got me ready to be an assistant coach at a really young age. Um, and secondly, I'll go with, with Coach Christian, who's now the head coach at George Washington. Um, he's the one that got, gave me my first start as an assistant coach at the age of 25 um, with no experience. He kind of took a chance on me, um, and I definitely appreciate that from him, and I keep in touch with him all the time now. And then lastly, I'll, I'll go with Coach Shaver, who was, um, I worked for this past year. I played for him for four years, so it was great to, to work for him with him for one year at least. My coaching style is all about energy. Um, I, I've learned that being under Coach Crean, um, he was always talking about how if you don't bring energy to practice, you might as well not be here. Um, so I think that's, that's kind of my, how I dictate myself um, when I'm on the court. Um, I'm always going to be the guy that's clapping, that's yelling, that's probably over the top. Um, but I think that brings a lot of value to the practice because the players kind of feed off of that stuff. Oh, it's, it's meant a ton for me to come back to Women Mary. Um, I, I felt like I, I had, obviously I had a, a more things to accomplish while I was a player, um, and I, hopefully I can help these guys get to that point um, as a coach now. Um, but the, the main thing about coming back to Women Mary is to give back to what the school has done for me. Um, they've shaped me into the person that I am now, and I'm hoping to shape some of these young men that we have here into great graduates and, and great positive influences in, in the world moving forward and hopefully play some professional basketball as well.